I built myself a circuit. It's um, a motor timer. Uh, the purpose is for uh, possibly putting on the front end of a light model aircraft, something that would perhaps normally be um, rubber band powered, but instead of the faff of the rubber band, um, it'll have a propeller on the motor, uh, but of course you don't want to just hook the motor straight up the battery, because if it's successful it may never come down until the battery goes flat. So it'll probably fly to France or something like that, uh, which could be good, but maybe not. Uh, so this thing uh, is based on a 555 timer in the middle there, and a few other little bitty components. I've taken the circuit uh, and adapted it with um, a transistor on the output to drive the motor, and it's pretty simple. It's running a 555 timer in a monostable mode, so when I press the button, it fires for however long I set the uh, the pot to, to run for. Oh, low battery. Okay, so if I do it now, it's set to its minimum. That's burning for about a second and a half-ish, second maybe. If I turn it up a little bit. Or a bit more. Yeah, you get the idea. If I turn it all the way up, it burns for about 13. about 11, 12 seconds, something like that, which is kind of perfect for the sort of scale models we're talking about, uh, any more than that, and it could get, um, well, lost. <laughs> there you go, that's it. Uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, this is uh, built on a strip board, uh, so super simple, uh, and what I did uh, was uh, on the, the Mac I just drew up the circuit plan, uh, printed it out to scale, stuck it on the board, which gave me a sort of a paper plan to work to, and I've just punched the legs of the circuit uh, components straight through the paper and soldered it on the other side. It gives it, uh, well, it just makes it a bit easier to build, which is always good.